a man with a plan. This was the greenhouse. But now it is all over there. And this pile is going to go there in the greenhouse spot for a garden. What are you thinking? Huh? What are you thinking? Oh. It was drove going down in there, wasn't it? Yeah, that in there just went in real late and curved right back up into the Yeah, that's when we hit the rock when we rock put it up. The root, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. Now that one just filled out this year. Perfect. Hmm. I don't know. I could get a jaw saw or something cut off down and go on the ground. May have to do that. Look at our fence here that we have been doing. Yeah, I am. What'd you do? Burn that? Oh. Anyway, doing redoing the fence down here. We have lived here for 25 years and had never redone this fence. So, I mean, we've had re-put up wire, but not redone the pose. So anyway, this will be getting done this weekend. I'm going to put a gate here. It's going to go all the way down there. And we're going to go back this way. We just recently did this back one right here. This fence right through here was just recently put in. Um, so we could keep sheep and everything over there so we could do this side of it. So anyway, that is what we're doing on the farm here lately. Ah, he finally got it up. Finally got that big old thing out. Put some muscles in it, huh? anyway I wanted to redo the greenhouse he didn't we've been back and forth about that finally he came down yesterday and started taking it down I said well take it on down because you've started so it is over there and there's supposed to be somebody come and pick that up and we're supposed to take this mulch here and put it over here where the greenhouse was for our new garden spot so, um, eventually, that will turn into our garden spot. It's supposed to be close to the barn, uh, which it will be for this barn here. Um, going to be redoing the corral later on. Um, don't know if we'll get that done this winter or spring. But we're going to redo it and put different panels up and that. So we can get some of that because it's pretty muddy in there. And they get it between their hoofs and it's sometimes hard for them to do that. They demolished pretty well the hay bale. But now they're wanting to lay in it. But uh, as I said, changes are coming around down here at the farm. We still have got to um, take this plastic up. We've got to take this plastic up and keep this soil because this here was wood chips too, like that over there, but it has broke down over the years. Um, we started the greenhouse. How many years ago did we start the greenhouse, Steve? We started the greenhouse quite a while. This is just the rimless of all of it. And uh, had trouble keeping it heated with propane. Um, so we were going to redo it. And then we had a cat that had climbed up on it and punched toes in the plastic, which was not good. 
didn't think about that in time. So how many years did we have this greenhouse up, but not really used it? <laughs> probably four or five years so like I said we still have to pull this tarp stuff up here and all this good stuff on top goes underneath and then eventually we'll add that mulch over there on it so I really don't know how big of a garden spot it's going to end up in but we'll see we actually did grow some tomatoes in here this year they did really well on top and I didn't even go to past this here so the tarp so we did pretty well with that anything else you want to add wish I had my mess cleaned up <laughs> anybody mm -hmm. want to volunteer to help you can see I didn't volunteer <laughs> but anyway it's all good the sheep are looking a little rough Got sheep and got some goats. There's our big ram in there. Uh, we noticed he was limping yesterday, but it was, we do believe it's all because of this mud out here. It's been really wet here. Um, still wet. Yeah, he's still limping too a little bit, but he's got a big old clot of mud there. Kind of hard to do whenever you've got a lot of wet grounds to keep mud out of them out of their hoofs, but eh, that's the show me state of Missouri. You, you ever know what you're going to get into, just show me when you wake up what it's going to do. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I'd come on and let you know um, what we're doing here around the farm. It's been a while since I've done a live video, and this gate here, Steve, is it going to go right here? So, ah, try to get away from all that mud. This gate here is going to go right here. Um, and also to rotate them when we worm them. So, but, so we'll have three gates. There'll be a gate down there at that end. Uh, gate here and this gate. Uh, right now they just kind of look a little old and rough, but plan on pa painting those probably in springtime. Well, when the weather gets good. It's not good enough to do that right now. It's pretty cool still. And I guess walking over here they thought we were going to feed them. So, we've got some that uh, we still got some goats that are still specting, but on the other pen over there, we've got our mamas and babies that has already had the babies, so. But we, you wormed them yesterday? Um, worm, yeah, we wormed the babies and the mamas yesterday, and we will be doing that again in 11 days. Um, we're going to do that three times uh, for it. 11 days and do it again and then 11 days and do it again so they'll have three wormings we found in the past that works really better for us to do it that way for our goats um, the sheep when we did the hoof trimming when we brought uh, Melissa Jacob. Jacobs out to do the hoof trimming we had wormed all of them and that and here is Peaches. Peaches had to come out and see what's going on. Yeah, get all muddy to come in my house. That won't be good. But anyway, we're trying to get the farm looking better and set up better. Eventually, all of this fencing through here is going to come out. And back there, we're going to redo the corral. We talked yesterday about it would be nice to have chat. Or some type of gravel in here so they wouldn't get so muddy it's not too bad out in the main field it's really here in the loft where we do the feeding that's gets a lot of mud in their toes and their hoofs so that is what's going on around here 
anything you want to say before I get off here? Because no. I think I'm about done. I'm about done with this one. All right, we'll talk to you later, and maybe, maybe today we'll show a little bit of the fence been put up. That's our wire over there, right? That yep. we're going to have. This is the wire. It's smaller uh, squares. Just like it right there. Okay, like that square over there. So that's what two by two. No, two by three. Four by four squares on that fence. So hopefully we're going to have that all around the premises. Uh, we can only do a little at a time just because of having to switch the animals from one area to another area. So we're just doing it as we go. All right, y'all have a very blessed day, and it was good that you guys tuned in here at uh, Blessings at Day's Farm.